Today in the grain market, soybeans were steady. There's been some rain in Brazil and Argentina, and it sent the market lower just to start, but it was able to recover somewhat, and it was setting up to uh, to remain in a kind of a holding pattern because one rain in Brazil is not going to really change the drought situation that they've had. So we've got to watch that closely. I think that the market still remains very strong. And the fact that it was able to recover from a lower start just tells us the underlining, uh, the underlying support that those futures really have. Now, corn was a little bit easier. There has been some profit taking right now. The trade remains inside yesterday's range. So that's a positive that we haven't broken out of that. But we need to keep an eye on China because uh, it looks like that China uh, will be buying corn for quite a while right now. And that's going to hold the market up uh, a little bit stronger. We just didn't get the follow through that uh, perhaps we thought we might have after yesterday's search. Now, wheat was lower. I think export sales uh, were a little bit of a disappointment, and uh, they, it hit the uh, marketing year low as well. Now, weather in the, in the Southern Plains has been kind of beneficial right now, and it's basically helping the winter wheat before it goes into dormancy. So all those things are a little bit bearish and kind of weighing on that market. Uh, that being said, we are still in a relatively bull market that we haven't seen in quite a while for the grains. So they do remain strong. So we'll watch that closely. And it, as as China comes in, I think it's very possible that they can uh, turn things around and we can speed it back up again. Uh, we are a long way away from any kind of a correction at this point.